We're exploring the attraction between straight and gay women. Now, Lisa has been showing us how easy it is for her to pick up straight girls, even a girl like AJ. AJ says she's kind of straight, okay? And um, AJ actually has never been on a date with a woman before. You've only just kind of like played, kissed with girls, but not a true date. You know, you'll go out with your friends, maybe a little peck or something. You know, it's a little girls gone wild kind of action, but <laughs> nothing beyond that. No, this is my first official date date. Date date. Well, let's see what happened on your official first date date. <laughs> It seems that when lesbian girls go out with straight girls, there's a protocol to follow. To date a dating straight woman, you kind of have to take a little bit slower. Um, it's, it's really iffy because you don't want to scare them off. I think you're more down and wanted to date me more than I wanted to uh, date you. Did you say date? Yeah. Are we on a date? <laughs> Sometimes you could get stuck in the friend zone, and tonight I'm going to make it surely known that I am not just a friend. Mm -hmm. Body language wise, I'll be looking for certain kind of touches from her. There's the laugh touch, like a uh, ha ha joke. Then there's like the lingering, that she's, she's a little interested. And then there's like the, oh, you know, I want to take you home type touch. It doesn't take long for things to go from friendly to flirty. Ow. Have you ever kissed a girl or anything like that? I, I have felt a woman's lips, yeah. You know, it's kind of taboo, but then it's sexy also. I mean, I've dated guys in the past, and uh, you guys get really bored. Even, like, sexually, there's... Sexually boring. That's so cocky, but I think I, if I wanted to, I could be like, all right, you know, let's go have sex. But I'm not like that. I like to build something nice, nice, and then have sex with them, and then it's um, much more comfortable, and you want to do and explore crazy things. Hey, bless me. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go to the restroom. Okay. okay. All right, girl. Usually, uh, straight girls will go to the bathroom with their friends and whatnot, but I am not going to go to the bathroom with her because I am her date, and I don't want to know anything as far as bathrooms are concerned. Same thing as a guy and a girl. Same thing. I am feeling butterflies. When taking out a straight girl for dinner, right off the bat, I will pay to make it known I'm not just a friend. All right, let's, let's be out. out. It looks like Lisa's straight date has become a little by curious. Okay, get a little, little something. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, looks like there was true chemistry. Like Absolutely, you guys... yeah. I think we were both into each other, and we were vibing well. You can't fight that. You can't deny that. When you feel something for someone, you can't put that on the back burner. Yeah. So this was your first date, your first real date with a woman. Official what, date. How would you say it went in general? I thought we were like friends. We were like talking. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, okay. She's whoa, like, no whoa, friend zone. Listen, listen. No listen. friend zone here. Hold on, though, Tyra. Hold on, Lisa. You kiss your friends like that? I love my friends. The oh. thing is, I feel if you can't be friends with even a guy that you're no, dating, you're right, you're you right. can't have that chemistry, that sexual thing that you want. Then it's like, eh. Let's talk about the, the, the bill. When the bill came, AJ, Lisa was like, she definitely has to pay to let you know it's a date. Did it make you feel awkward because there's two girls at the table and you didn't know what to do? Or did you feel I like... I was totally fine with that. I'm like, oh. go ahead. <laughs> she was totally fine with that. She was from Scampy, too. <laughs> so the, did it end in the kiss? Was that all that happened? Yeah, we just kissed. And then she sent me off, and I'm like in the that car. But we texted each other. She gave me a real text, not the fake text. What's the difference? A fake text is when, uh, like I said before, when the girl's sitting down, you kind of just want to sit down, start conversation. You act like you're texting somebody. And then you, you know, start a conversation. But she was texting me right off the bat with the wink face. Now, yeah. the wink face. <laughs> the wink face. Tara, let me tell ink, you. Ink. The wink face. The wink face is like. There's a smiley face, which is kind of like the friend a little bit, you know, smile, uh. But the wink face is like, would you text your friend with a wink face? I text everybody with a wink face. I swear Don't text I do. Everybody. My, for some reason, I go to that. Is it the, 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 the button? Don't because... text me with a wink face. I'll call you. <laughs> I'll be right back. Talk, I'll call you right after. <laughs> the straight women on this show are opening up about their feelings for gay women. Lauren says she's got a huge crush on a gay coworker and she cannot keep it to herself any longer. Okay, so tell us about this, this, uh, this coworker. Her name is Tiffany. Yes. Tell us about Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany and I, we started working together. We met at orientation through our job. And 
We, uh, we didn't talk much at first. It was kind of slow beginning. Um, working together, though, we you know, started talking more and more. We realized that we lived across the street from each other, actually, in the same apartments. So we started hanging out quite a bit, going so out So is this your dancing. first girl crush? Yes. Is that what you want to tell her today? Yeah, I wanted to bring her out today to let her know that I have, you know, more than a friendship feeling for her and maybe get a kiss. You want a kiss? <laughs> yes. This is, this is like a little running thing, the kisses today. <laughs> well, Tiffany's backstage. She hasn't heard anything uh, Lauren has said. So uh, let's bring her out of isolation and onto the stage. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I know you're like, why am I on the tire show today? <laughs> right? So uh, tell us about your friendship with Lauren. Uh, Lauren's an awesome person. We get along really good. I uh, like to go out, party, drink, dance. Sometimes we'll just stay at home, have movie night. Yeah. So you're gay and she's straight? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever had any attraction to her? She's very good looking. Yeah? Yes. She's, she's very good looking? Yes. Is that a comma or a period at the end of that? <laughs> it was a, a period. That was a period. Okay, Lauren, uh, I think you have to uh, tell her why you're here. Why she's here. <laughs> So I brought you out here today because I have, I mean, we've been friends for a long time, about a year now, and I have feelings more than just like a friendship. I have more, more intimate feelings for you, and I was hoping to maybe get a kiss. <laughs> She's just going straight forward, not like, I'm hoping we can talk about it. She's like, can I get a kiss? <laughs> we've been friends for a year. We don't need to waste time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a point. You made a point. Mm -hmm. Tiffany? Right now? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Now, Lauren? Good. <laughs> yeah? So that was your first kiss with a girl. Yes. Did it feel different? Um, not, I mean, kind of. Yeah? Not so much. How I different? The, the same no matter what. Yeah? Jackie, what advice do you have for uh, <laughs> Tiffany and Lauren here? Because I don't, Lauren looks shell shocked. I don't know what, what she's thinking. Uh, I don't, are, you, are you into her? Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Very much. Yes. <laughs> you, have you had feelings for her for this time? You know, she's a good friend. Yeah. And it's not something I necessarily wanted to jump into in case of ruining that. But there's definitely a possibility we could work on something. All right. Well, good luck, Tiffany and Lauren. Thank you. We'll be right back. I'm actually really proud of this show today, Jackie, because the Tyra show, like, we actually, we get nominated for GLAAD Awards all the time. I, I get, you know, nominated for GLAAD Awards. And um, we do a really good job with the gay community, but not with the lesbian community. And I think this show was really great. And I'm so happy that you were here, too, to give your sage advice. You're going to get the lesbian community after the show. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tyra. You're welcome. So we want to know if um, you're a straight person who has ever had a gay crush. Log on to TyraShow.com. TyraShow.com. TyraShow.com and let us know. Okay, we'll see you later. <laughs>